Okay guys, your Wi-Fi keeps obtaining IP address. So how are you guys gonna fix that? Here are a couple of steps you're gonna try. Okay guys, very first thing, uh, just uh, turn off your Wi-Fi and then wait for a while and then turn it back again and check it out. The next thing is, uh, you just uh, open your Wi-Fi network, just tap it, it will open your Wi-Fi network and then after you're gonna turn it off, uh, sorry guys, we already did that, you just have to forget the network and then after you just have to reconnect again, when you forget the network, uh, you just have to re-enter the password and then connect it. So this was the second thing that you can try. Now let's go with the third one. So the third one is with the router. So your device uh, might be accessing a uh, internet through the Wi-Fi router. So go around your Wi-Fi router and then you just turn it off for a while for 15 minutes or half an hour and then turn it back again and then try to connect to your network and see if a problem is fixed. Okay guys, you can see over here, it's uh, settings. You have to open the setting page and somewhere it's gonna say the application. Different phone has a different arrangement. So somewhere you're gonna access a list of application. So, so try to access a list of application. So when you access the list of application, somewhere you're gonna find setting. So here's uh, some application manager. So check some of settings. Okay, so, okay here on the so I didn't find settings over here. So somewhat try to access a different folder. Somewhere it might find uh, settings. There are these many folders. So here you can see it's all in the list of all application. Somewhere wants to be settings. It is arranged in alphabetical order. So go to letter yes. Where is yes? Here it is the settings. When you click on settings, uh, you can get access to the setting page. Try to clear the case and somewhere you'll find our stories. So you can just uh, clear the case, clear the data, so read it before you do it because your application data will be permanently deleted. This includes all the file settings that you have done, database and everything. So before you do it, you can read it. Once you have done it, I can go back to same application and you are gonna access it. So try to access uh, list of applications. Okay, not in the default application. Is the application manager. Again, go to settings. Hit settings. And then now you'll just uh, you have already cleared the case and cleared the data now you'll force stop it so what are you guys gonna do just force stop it click on ok done with the force stop now what are you gonna do just restart your device now you're gonna check it out see if this method is working Okay, so you're gonna open the setting in your phone and then so somewhere so different phone has a different arrangement so somewhere you're gonna check for updates in my phone it's a about device and here it is on the top itself software update in some phone in the setting page itself in the on the top you'll find a system update and all those stuff so somewhere you're gonna find update or you can search manually on the search in setting now click on update now. It will check for updates and install all necessary updates. Sometime updating a system will fix your lots of problem. 
the last updated has already been installed. So if any update is available, just update it. It will definitely fix lots of your problem. So update your phone and check it out. Okay guys, you're gonna open the Wi-Fi settings. You're gonna go to setting and you're gonna open the Wi-Fi network setting. The easy way is on the top you have a Wi-Fi network symbol. Tap it for a long and you're gonna see this space. So select your Wi-Fi network, tap it for a few seconds and you're gonna see this option. Click on manage network setting. Now on the top you can see 192.168.100. So you're going to note down first three value, 192.168.1. So you may be uh, 10 instead of 1. Your third value may be 100 or something else. So you're going to note down first three value. So mine is 192.168.1. Change the DHCP to a statistic. Now you can see. You're going to enter over here IP address 192.168.1. Three values should be as it is. Third value you can change. Third value you can change from 100 to 101, 102, 103, 104. If it is 10, you can change it to 11, 12, 13, 14. If it is uh, something like 18, 19, 20, or 30, you can change it to 31, 32, 33. Just make a little bit changes. Now come down. Your gateway should be 192.168.1.1. So leave it as it is your gateway. So the gateway should be like, a, you can say first three value, 192.168 dot. So your gateway might be like 100.1 or 200, sorry guys, it should, it might be 200.1 or it might be, your gateway might be like 10.1. So the first three value do not change. The last value should be one for gateway. So never change first three value. Now, the DNS. You just have to delete it and you can see it is given here. You're going to put 8.8.8.8. Now DNS2, you can see, leave it as it is or you can just put as it is 8.8.4.4. Okay, now everything is fine. Click on save. Now you can see it's connecting, connected. Now try to browse your internet. Make sure it is working. If it do not work, tap it again for a few seconds. Click on manage network setting. So this time, so you'll just make a slight uh, changes in the IP address. So DNS address, uh, you just make a little bit changes. So try to put in a DNS address one. So remove DNS address two, it should be empty. In DNS address 1, we had 8.8.8.8. So 4 value, all over 8.8.8.8. Change it to 192, 168, and 1.1. 1 .1. So we'll put the DNS one as 192.168.1.1. .1 and then click on save. So this will also connect your network. Now try to browse the internet and see if it is working. Okay guys. So you're gonna find setting in your phone and open the setting. Inside setting, somewhere you're gonna find backup and reset. Different phone has a different arrangement. Even you can search over here at the, on the top on the search. You can make a search for backup and reset or you can just make a search for network setting, reset and all this. So in my phone, here I have inside additional setting. So in some phone, you'll find it on the top itself. Here I have a backup and reset. So when you open the backup and reset, you're going to see at the bottom here I have a network setting reset. When I click on that, here you have an option for the network setting reset. This will reset all your network setting including Wi-Fi, mobile data and Bluetooth. So before you continue, different phone has a different arrangement so read it before you continue. So it will reset all your password and everything. So just below the page at the bottom here you have a reset setting. Click on that. It can ask you to enter the pattern. Now it can ask you whether you want to reset. So click on OK after reading it. Now you can see network setting has been reset and when you go to the Wi-Fi it can ask you for the password again. So re-enter the password, try to connect and then check it out.